Oh, what a beautiful morning. We need to go to the kitchen to see what Mama left. It smells so good. So I left something behind. That's right. I left the toast and jam. Thanks to her. I'm gonna go get Mikey. Phew. Nice weather today after all. Hi, friends. Mikey and I are going to school now. Where we're going to school. Open Mikey. It's time for us to go to school with you. Hi, JJ. I'm ready to go to school already. It's time for us to learn. Look how pretty my backpack is. So, wait. We have second period today. That means we can play on the playground some more. No way. That's great. Then let's go play with you. Look, there's not even anyone there. I'm very surprised. It's beautiful. Let's hurry up and play. There's nothing to do anyway if we have classes starting in second period. I suggest we play a game of basketball. The rules are simple. Basketball is played by two teams. Normally a team consists of 12 people, but there will be two of us on the court at the same time and the rest are on the bench and can come on as substitutes during a break in the game. Wow! You're going to be a future basketball player. I assure you, Mikey. Now I suggest we finish the game of basketball and go for a ride on the slides. I also have a question for you. What's our first lesson? Yes! We have the best slides we've ever had. Remember when we were in the other village? It wasn't like that. We're about to start a class. Let's go to it, Mikey. We're going to be late for it. And it's going to be really weird. Let's go! Fuh! Finally these lessons are over. I'm so tired. Shut up! Mikey! Where's the food? I'm tired of waiting! I'm on it! Why are you shouting like that? Here's your pizza! You wanted it! There you go! Yum! Yum! This is so good! Thanks for making this pizza! Here's another drink! Oh! Oh! This is so good! Tasty and nice! Listen, our kids have been gone long enough. Maybe something happened. Let's go check on them. Maybe they're missing. Let's go check it out. I was getting worried about them too. I suggest we go check the playground first. They usually spend their day there and don't come out. And now something's happened. Or the school. I suggest we go check the playground first. They usually spend their day there and don't come out. And now something's happened. Or the school. So, the site is completely empty. We conclude they are not on the site. They are elsewhere. But where? I can't figure it out. I'm getting worried about them. The school doesn't have them either. Shit. Where are they? I'm getting worried too. What the hell is this? Let's go out then. Hello. What? Where is he? We're going after him. Wait for US. Mikey. Let's go to the hospital right now. They are in the hospital. I hope they are okay. Let's get there fast and don't be late. Let's go to the hospital right away. I hope they're all right. Let's get there fast and don't be late. How the hell did they get there? I can't figure it out. It's impossible. And here's their room. Well, let's go in with you, Mikey. JJ, 
I'm so glad you're alive, son. What happened to you and how you got here? He has a concussion and a broken rib. I can't even imagine who did it. He has such physical strength. I can tell you that he can walk, so goodbye. I hope he's going to be okay. Thank you so much. We're going to pick you up now, JJ. And go home with you to rest where you're going to do your own thing. But I hope you don't do that. Tell me what happened. Yes. My father and I are very curious about what happened. How you ended up in the hospital with all those terrible injuries in the first place. You didn't do anything. You only went to school, according to the doctor. Let the child come to his senses. And then ask your questions. And now, my son, tell me everything normally and in clear lines. Well, I begin to tell the story. I don't know what exactly happened, but someone came up behind me and hit me with all their might and knocked me out. I even got a really bad headache. And I blacked out. I could tell it was someone who looked like Mikey. But Mikey was somewhere behind me, 100%, so it wasn't him. And he looked really scary. I don't want to talk about it now. Fuh! I am so tired of this whole story. Everything hurts like hell. Not a broken rib for nothing. Man! I gotta go get some potatoes. I can't believe I forgot. Where's Mikey? Whoa! There's Mikey! Hey! Mikey! Come over here! Hi! How are you feeling? I've been told everything. I feel sorry for you so very much. I don't know how it happened. Mikey! We need to go pick potatoes out of the beds. Let's go do it all quickly. And hopefully without any scary monsters. Let's go! Yes! I agree! Let's hurry up and get it then. I hope there's something in there. By the way, I can tell you a little bit about potatoes. Potatoes are a perennial plant. We dig it up every year because we are interested in the tubers. But if it weren't for our intervention, potato bushes could have grown and grown. People started eating potatoes about 8,000 years ago. The first people to eat potatoes were the inhabitants of South America. It did not come to Europe until the middle of the 16th century. The Spanish priest, historian, and geographer Cieza de Leon brought it from Peru to his homeland. But at first the foreigner was perceived only as an ornamental plant. The real fame came to it later. Potato tubers do not contain 80% of starch, as many people think, but only water. They contain only about 15% starch. That's it! We've got enough potatoes! Let's go put them in the fridge! Where to store them? Subscribers, write down where you can store them. I'm too curious. Where do you store your potatoes? And you and I, Mikey, we almost ran up. Yes! Let's go put the potatoes down. I'm not taking it back. I don't have enough room to store them in there in general. Mikey! Listen! I'm in so much pain! I suggest you go home and sleep it off too. Because everything really hurts. That's it, friends! I'm probably going to take a nap. And hope no one comes to see me and I can sleep it off. Good night, everybody! I'll be right back! Why does it smell so smoky? It's like something's burning! Stop! I can't believe it's my house that stinks! Oh, my god! Who would do that? To set it on fire! Where are the parents anyway? We have to run out! Everything is on fire! Oh, my god! How did this happen? It's on fire! Oh, my god! Stop! It's Mikey! Hey! Mikey, why'd you set the whole house on fire? Explain! You're not Mikey! You're somebody else! Get away from me! I don't know you! You're too ugly EW! What's the matter with you anyway? You're kind of weird! Maybe he's having some kind of seizure! If he's sitting down like that... I'm not sure, though! What's the matter with you anyway? You're kind of weird! Oh no! Run! He got up and ran after me! He's going to kill me or eat me! 
Oh, come on! I don't believe it! Come on, run! Witch! Help me! What am I to do? Got it! He just needs to be knocked out. In order to drag him off and then build the ritual. This ritual will be difficult. That's why it is necessary to take a big stone. Take that! Right in your head! Get it right in your head! Well, you've been knocked out! All that's left is to drag you off and then do the ritual. Well, they dragged you! You're so heavy! Come on! I'm pulling you! 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 Come on! That's it! I'm going to go get the materials for the ritual. And I'll build it for you. And make a human out of you. So everything will be alright. Wait for me! Thank you! I'm about to make a ritual circle for Micah. And it will be like a new cucumber. I'll tell you about it now. I read it in books! The main and most known function of a protective magic circle is protection against evil forces. For these purposes, European magicians usually drew not a simple circle in one line, but several circles, putting one into another. More often outlining of a magic circle was supposed by two, three, more rarely four or five circles inside the circle, and the space between lines was filled with protective signs. The emptiness in the middle of the circle is rarely left unfilled, more often a square, or a cross, or an equilateral triangle, or a pentagram is inscribed in it. In any case, the figure inscribed in the circle symbolizes the relationship between the concept denoted by this figure and eternity. Well, it's almost ready! There's a voodoo doll left! And let's get Mikey in here! To restore him! Put it in and it's done! That's great! Oh, come on! Let's go get Mikey and get him! They dragged you, Mikey! Come on! I'm pulling you! Come on! I'm pulling you! Come on! I'm pulling you! Come on! Mikey! This is going to hurt a little bit! That's why I'm going to repair you now! You have to recite the spell! Oh! Didn't even need anything. Good morning. How are you doing? What happened to me, JJ? I can't understand it. How did this happen? I can't believe I turned into some kind of evil. This is ridiculous. Look what happened. You set fire to our whole house. We have to put it out right away. It's going to burn down and it's going to be very, very bad. We won't have a place to live with you. And if I don't have a place to live, I'll live in a dump. But we don't want that. So come on, stew with me so we'll be fine. Shit. I'm ashamed. How did this happen? I probably know what this is about. I must have been possessed by a demon. Who's been controlling me and I ended up doing all this. Maybe I also attacked you when I was at school. I mean, it's a scary day. Especially for me when I walk and everything is dark. BR. I don't want to remember. I got scared all over again. Anyway, when my parents come back, I will also ask their forgiveness. After all, I have done so much that I am completely ashamed. And I'll probably be punished for burning the house down. You better keep quiet and not yell that you're ashamed. And put it out in silence. After all, you made all this mess completely and clean it up. Just please don't whine about it. Maybe I also attacked you when I was at school. I mean, it's a scary day. Especially for me when I walk and everything is dark. BR. I don't want to remember. I got scared all over again. Anyway, when my parents come back, I will also ask their forgiveness. After all, I have done so much that I am completely ashamed. And I'll probably be punished for burning the house down. Parents. Forgive me for setting our house on fire. 
It was all my fault. I was possessed by the devil. And because of the devil, I was able to destroy the house. But JJ and I put it out and we're okay. It's okay, Mikey. We're not mad at you.